Hey guys and welcome back to another Unregion 4 tutorial. Today we're once again advancing upon our third person shooter mini game. In today's episode we're going to be adding in a third person aiming system. So we can hold down right mouse button and we're going to actually ADS or aim down the sides of our gun in third person, so again not first but third person. So let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today. So you can see we can just shoot like normal here and if I were to run away, hold down right mouse, you can see the gun is going to be aiming up like so. So we're aiming up the gun like that. And what we can also do maybe is also zoom in the camera a little bit just so we get a bit more of an aim dynamic on there. So we can add that in later on if we wanted as well. I'll show you how to do that. Again, this is what we make today. We have the animation for holding up the gun and aiming it like that so we get a little bit more precise with our shooting. And we also slow down how fast the player is moving. And again, we can add in a little zoom on the camera as well if we wanted. So this is what we're going to make today, so without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open up our character blueprint, which for me is going to be game files, character, ue 4 asp underscore character, like so. So now the first thing I'm going to do in here is set up actually allowing the player to aim. So when we're holding down right mouse button, we can aim in. So what I'm going to do is go to edit up on the top left and project settings. Once this loads, I'm going to scroll down to input on the left here under engine, and we're going to add in an action mapping. So the action mapping I'm going to add, so hit the plus there, and I'm going to name this one aim, or aiming, or aim down sights, or ADS, anything along those lines. And again, I'm going to set this to right mouse button. So the player uses left to shoot, and right to aim. So again, you can change this to what if you like, so maybe even left trigger, anything you like. I'm going to close this, back in the event graph of our character blueprint, I'm going to right click, and search for what I named it, which for me was aim, so let me find it here, action events, aim like so. Out of this, I'm gonna create a new boolean. So I'm gonna hit the plus variable here, naming this one is aiming question mark, setting that off of pressed, and also setting it off of released. So pressed, I'm gonna set it to true, released, I'm gonna set it to false, and that means we have to be holding down right mouse button in order to aim. What I'm also going to do is lower the player's speed while we're aiming, so they're not going to be moving as fast. So to do that, we can drag and drop in the character movement here, and set the max walk speed, doing that out of both of pressed and released. So again, we're slower when we're aiming, and we're back to normal speed when we're not aiming. So our normal speed for me is 270, and I can see that because when I stop sprinting here, we're setting it to 270. So the slower speed, I'm going to set to 170, so we're going 100 units slower when we are aiming. But again, you can choose to set these values to whatever you like. I'm going to select that, hit C to comment it, naming this aim, because that is what this code is doing. When we hold down right mouse button, we're going to be aiming and walking slower. So what I also want to do is make sure that we can't sprint when we're aiming, because A, that will mess up this speed code which we have here, and also I don't think it's realistic. So to prevent sprinting, I'm going to go up to my sprinting code, move out the action mapping, and just hold down B, left click to get a branch, connecting it into the pressed, and the false into the set max walk speed like so. The condition is simply going to be is aiming. So if the player is aiming, they can't sprint, because is aiming true, not going to do anything, is aiming false, they are going to be able to sprint. And we can do that off of release as well, however we don't need to, because it isn't going to make a difference at all. So that is going to be fine. So I'm going to compile and save that, and that is all the code in the character blueprint setup. We've enabled it so the player can now aim, and we've also made it so they can't sprint while aiming. All we need to do now is set up the animations for this, so it is then working as well. However, also, sorry, one thing I've just remembered is if we want to add in a zoom on the camera. So a zoom on the camera is very simple. We can drag and drop in a reference to our camera here, so for me that's player camera. And out of this, we can set field of view. And the field of view is essentially the zoom on it. So let me just get that for both of these, like so. And if we select the player camera, we can search in the field of view, like so. And you can see by default, it is 90. So the bottom one, we're going to want to set back to 90. And the lower the value, the more zoomed in it is. So the top one, I'm going to set to 70. And let's see how zoomed in that is, and how good that's going to be for us. So we compile, hit play to test it, Hold down right mouse button, you can see we're a little more zoomed in, like so. You can obviously do this however you like, so you don't even need to do this if you don't want. And you can obviously zoom in more or zoom in less. But I think for me, zooming in that much is going to be good and fine for me. Just add a little bit of something different if you wanted to add that. 
Again, you don't need to, and you can change it however much you like, but that's going to be good for me. So now what I'm going to do is compile, save, and close the character blueprint, because now again, we want to set up the animations. So to do that, I'm going to go to content, anim starter pack, and now this is where all of our animations are, and you should already have the animations for aiming down the sights, or the iron sights as this is called. So what I'm going to do is in here, I'm going to open up the animation blueprint, which for me is the UE4 ASP Hero TPP Anim Blueprint, or just the animation blueprint in which you are using for your character. And in the event graph, this is what I already have, because again, this comes by default with this animation blueprint. So essentially, when we're updating the animation blueprint off of this one here, we already have the cast to our character, which you're going to want to make sure you do have, so you're casting to your character. And we're going to come off of the sequence here, again you should have all this by default. And as UE4 ASP character, so as our character which we have, I'm going to get is aiming, or just the boolean which you made earlier. Then I'm going to right click the return value of this, promote it to a variable, naming this is aiming. So you're giving it the exact same name, and I'm going to set that off of the then to of the sequence. And all this simply does is it allows us to just use this boolean here inside of the animation blueprint and that is so we know when we want to start and stop playing the aiming animations. So again this boolean here we're just giving easier access to, we're just actually giving access to, meaning we can enter and exit the animations which we want. And so let's set up those animations now. So I'm going to compile, save and go over to my locomotion here. So for you that will be the anim graph and then the state machine which is named locomotion. I'm going to drag out of the idle state and add a new state, naming this one aim or aiming or ads anything along those lines again so aim down sights and we're going to drag from aim to idle jog to aim and aim to jog because these transitional lines here are how we can enter and exit this state so we can enter it from idle and exit it back to idle and we can enter it from moving and back to moving as well so i don't want to be able to do this while jumping or run jumping or crouching or anything along those lines and so to enter and exit all we're going to do is use this boolean here if it's true or false. So first we'll do idle to aim, so double click that there, and this is just if it's true. So get is aiming, connect it in there like so, as simple as that. Go back to locomotion, and then aim back to idle is if it's false, so we're just going to do the opposite. So get is aiming, and get a not boolean, and then connect that into canon to transition. So first, if it was true, it's going to do it. Now if it's not true, it's going to enter as well. And again, this is going to be the same from jog to aim. So jog to aim is aiming straight into there, because if it's true, it will enter. If it's not true, it won't enter. And then from aim back to jog, it's going to again be is aiming not, because if aiming is not true, then it is going to enter. And if it is true, it's not going to enter. So again, that is how we're going to enter and exit these states here for going from our normal animations to our aiming, and our aiming back to our normal. So I hope that makes sense. So we're going to compile, and save and that is all of that set up however if we double click on the state there's no animation in here so it's not going to actually do anything so we need to set that up now as well and that's also very very simple we can minimize this and back in our content browser i'm going to right click go to animation and create an anim blend space 1d with the skeleton of the character we're using which for me is ue4 mannequin skeleton with the path as anim starter pack and i'm going to name this one bs for blend space underscore aiming. I'm going to open that up straight away. The horizontal axis, I'm going to change the name from speed, from non, sorry, to speed. Minimum is zero, maximum as the speed we're using, which for me is 170. But again, set that to whatever you set it as in your character blueprint. And now we can just simply add in our animations in here. So I'm going to search for iron sights like so. And what I'm going to do is get the idle rifle iron sights there. So when we're just standing still, we're going to have this one. And then I also want the walk forward rifle on sight there. So when we're idle, we're going to get this animation. And when we're walking, we're going to get this animation. And again, because we set it up in a blend space, it's going to smoothly transition between these based upon our speed. So this is going to work perfectly. So we can save, close that. And now you see we have this in our asset browser here. So we can drag in BS aiming, connect that into the output animation pose, and the speed, we can just input the speed variable, which again, we already have. So if we compile and save, this should now all be working perfectly for us. So let's hit play and test this out. If 
we hold down right mouse button, we're going to aim in like so. You can see the animation comes up and we zoom in a little bit as well. And if I'm standing still, it's this. And if I'm moving and walking, it's like this. So this works perfectly, again, just giving us a little bit more precision for when we are aiming, like so. But as you can see, what happens is if we jump while aiming, it's not going to actually play the animation, and it will play the animation after we leave. So what I'm going to do is just stop it, it's just prevent us from jumping when aiming. So I'm going to close this and go back into my character blueprint, which is here, like so. And we're going to do the exact same thing we did for sprinting. So we can just copy that. So get the is aiming and the branch. Control C. Go to our jump code, which is all the way up here. And I'm just going to move this out a little bit to give us more space. Drag this out and Control V into there. False going into jump. So again, we can only jump if we're not aiming. And I am going to do that for both of these this time, like so, for pressed and released. So again, we can only jump now if we're not aiming, which I think is going to work a little bit better. So we compile, save, hit play. Now if we're aiming, we can't jump, which was working a lot better for us, as you can see here. So I think that'll be it for this video, as we've done everything we want to do. We've set it up so we can now aim or aim down sight, whatever you want to call it, by holding down right mouse button, it's going to zoom in a little bit and play the animation as well, just to give us a bit more precision when shooting our enemies, like so. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.